few years ago, we've managed to get Grow the Game funding, which has helped us set up this inclusive club. Barking Abbey Hammers is a football club that's um, running Disability Pacific sessions every Saturday. These young players not only come training, but they have the opportunity to compete in uh, Essex FA Soccerability Leagues and local tournaments as well. We're giving young people with special educational needs the opportunity to develop their football skills. It's grown from about five or six participants to over 40 participants now on our register. Not all young people, adults with disability, can fit into a mainstream environment. These sessions are kind of bespoke, so it meets their needs. Also, it's a really good social outlet as well for the parents, and they've become involved as well. Some of the parents are now volunteer coaches, help with the committee, uh, secretaries and treasurers. So it's a really sort of family club that's been developed because of the Grow the Game funding. I'm one of the volunteer coaches here. So here we've got the under 12s, SEND, so special educational needs and disability students. So we give them a chance to play football and like, enjoy the game without any pressures. I really do like seeing the kids like interact with one another. Cause, like, they are really happy to do this. Like Even though it's a Saturday morning and it's tiring, like, the energy they bring to it like, gives us energy. That funding has helped people like Nimra to kind of get volunteer opportunities and grow themselves as an individual and as a coach. She comes every Saturday. She's absolutely brilliant with the young people. It's really good for her development as well. She has a very bubbly personality that is now starting to shine and she just wants to help. It gives you a lot of experience and allows you to become like a better person for it. More people need to realise that you can make a difference. The fund's a great opportunity so there's no harm in trying to go for the fund and it's very easy. Now we've got young players here who are being identified as talented disability footballers that could get on that England pathway and one day represent their country. So I think the future's bright.